Spider-Man, X-Men, Fantastic Four, they're all around. It's Marvel time. Welcome to Plastic Giant, Plastic Junkies channel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> it's again another segment. Finally, I got to finally find this piece. Five inch Toy Biz X-Men Giant Size X-Men Pack Collector's Edition. I'm happy that I got this. Everyone says, you collect 5-inch Marvel figures? Yeah, I collect everything. I told you this. Beautiful. Beautiful packaging. Let's start from the outside. We're going a little bit of our, ahead of our time. My Mr. My friend Joel Nerd's here always. Hi, everybody. The packaging is beautiful. Metallic red with X-Men on it. The big toy biz thing. And it says Marvel Comics, Marvel Collector uh, Edition. The all-new, all-different X-Men, Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, Sunfire, Banshee, and Thunderbo Thunderbird. But, if you notice on the cover, you don't get the same ones that are here. So you do not get Wolverine and you don't get Col uh, Cyclops. It's because they, did it, they made so many Wolverines and Cyclops when this pack came out. To my knowledge, yes, we're going to show the, 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 the... When it came out, you're right. came out in 1998. At the time, Toy Biz uh, started with, might as well show one, started with a line that's called, where I showed off the Punisher van, and this is it. This is the line when they first started in 1991, where these are the talking ones. He says, Vengeance is mine, ratatatata, a machine gun, and... <laughs> what? Yeah, no escape for the guilty. It's really hard. It's 1991. It's one of the... Er, er, the, the this is the first time the Toy Biz started with their Marvel line. So that's why I want to do this, because... Jump, jump ahead... Let's leave him there. Jump ahead, 98. So... They said to themselves, they're not going to put Wolverine, they're not going to put Colossus, sorry, Cyclops, so they go and put Banshee and Sunfire. That's why I bought this, because there was no Wolverine and no Cyclops. I go, fine. This is the top, you see all their names, and it's in black, X-Men, with the, you know, the X-Men cartoon from the comic book, see? Side, the same thing, underneath, a little bit different, but the back is nice, shows you all of them, tells you their story. Which Joe Nerd's gonna talk a little bit because you know that's what he's here for. Read it. Hmm. Okay. Read this. Yep. After his original team of students was captured by the mutant island Kroka, a desperate Charles Xavier decided it was time to form a new, all new, all different team of uncanny X Men, utilizing his mutant tracking device. Cerebro, Cerebro, sorry, and oh, cool. traveling to many different nations, Professor X assembled a multicultural team of mutants, possibly more powerful than his, than its predecessor, with some quick explanations and no formal training. These new X-Men were sent in to search. What? were sent in in search uh, of their, their helpless, helpless teammates. Teammate. Sorry oh, about that, everyone. It's okay, it's good. No well, rehearsals. It's raw, 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 yeah, right? Raw, raw. We'll make mistakes. All I can say is that the comic book they made of this was amazing. The story was amazing. The artwork, I don't remember the artist. I'm sorry. I know I should remember. I'm sorry. But the Godfather is going to put it in the segment at the bottom and show the comic book. And, and show you who drew the, the comic book and did the art in it. It's amazing. Now, we're going to get to what I haven't done for a long time. Opening on camera. That's right. Pretty I'm cool. going to open this dead mint package figure. Upstairs here, it tells you the origin of every single character. But, I'm not going to bore you guys to death. Thank goodness. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty. And look what I have in my pocket. I've got an X-Acto knife. What am I going to do? Damn Skippy right. I'm going to turn it on the side, and I'm going to... Oh! 
It's not meant anymore, Plaster Junkie. Oh, oh, my. What oh, kind of a collector oh, are you? No! Oh, that was very dramatic, Godfather. This is a long one. For the love of God, no! Then you pull it out. Ah! You are driving me insane. Guys. Ah! Ah! Sorry. It's Sorry. wild, man. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Here we'll they are. Shot. Oh. <laughs> Here they are. Uh, we'll take Storm. I guess you want to come first. This mm. is Storm. <laughs> oh, look, it still smells good. Her long hair. So that's my Storm. Man. Her sexy disco boots. Disco fever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is Beautiful her, uh, figure. Is that like real cloth? Yes, it's real cloth. Neat. Plastic here. Her, five and a half. Maybe you should set them up, standing up. Sure. As but I'm, I'm still going to put them back in the oh, package. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you can set them Pretty up. Pretty cool. Next, we go to Colossus. The ro Oh, uh, Aurora is African-American. Forgot that. Aurora. Aurora, sorry. Aurora Monroe. Colossus. Pietro is Russian. Dark. Dark. Liana. Beautiful figure. This one is amazing. Uh, articulation on these figures are wrists, some wrists, not all of them, actually no wrists, no, yeah, some of them, not all of them, uh, head, waist, uh, uh, leg, around the, what's this? He has the waist, waist. T-crotch, T-crotch, his boots are awesome, look at this, looks like a wrestling boots, and as you know, the ankles on the feet, beautiful, hmm. which uh, my friend's gonna display that for us. Then we go to the very gentle, I'm going to say gentle because I've broken once, uh, the one I had I broke it and he's the only one that comes with a twist tie so we're going to gently open this up to hold his tail in place and I'm going to, because I broke already a Nightcrawler, here's Nightcrawler, beautiful look, this is his first appearance look, uh, nice legs too. He is, uh, I forget where he's from. He was in a traveling circus, and he is from which country again? Mm. I don't remember. He's religious, he's too, isn't uh, he? Very religious. He's Europe, I guess. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Then we have Japanese Sunfire. Oh, I'm Japanese! No, that's so mean. Okay. He's Japanese, yes. He's cool. Okay, make him hang. He's cool. He's Sunfire. Super cool figure. I think it was this, I think this was like the third third time they made Sunfire in this li uh, in 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 all the the line of uh, of what's it called of the X Men. Then we have the one that I don't find. Okay, I'm really jumping ahead of me. Colossus, I give him a five and a half. Nightcrawler, I give him a five. Sunfire, I give him a five. Banshee is the only one that I'm not going to give him much. I give him a four because. It's a nice Banshee, but it's just that it looks like he's screaming so loud. But that's what Banshee does. I know, but it shouldn't put him in that position. The costume is pretty cool. I really like it. It's, they smell amazing. Do they? Oh, yeah. I love opening new figures. They have a kind of a different plastic smell, I find. Kind of weird. It's uh, aged very... It's The plastic smell has aged in a different way, I guess. Uh, my favorite one out of all of them. Look at that. Thunderbird. Ah. Then Warpath is his brother. That was in... Yeah. I think X the new Force. X-Force. That's right. Yeah, he knows his stuff. When I, when I look at that figure, that's what I really like about it. It really reminds me of X-Force. I uh, really liked that old he's wildlife a dog yeah, series. He's a Canadian um, superhero. What? He's, he's Canadian. A, he's Canadian. He's, isn't he Canadian? I don't know. think I don't so. Know. No, he's not Canadian. I'm sorry. So. He's not Canadian. Uh, okay. okay, he's an Indian. He's American. He's yeah. Native American. He's Native American, then. He has to be. Yeah. Or probably he's Mexican, or never know. No, I'm pretty sure he'd be Native. Uh, okay. Because he was never in Alpha Flight. So. No, he wasn't in Alpha Flight. No, he wasn't. No. And there you have it. All five of them. I open them right in front of you. All six, you mean? Sorry, all six. You're right. I'm sorry. Six. And I love them all. I like this, this line. I like the packaging. And I'm still going to put it back in the packaging, and one day I will display them. Plaza Junkie enjoyed opening that those figures. I haven't opened figures in a long time.
And yes, I'm sure he's going to fix it. Go ahead, fix it. No, no, I just wanted to get a closer look at him. He no. is, I think he's the best of, of yeah. the, uh, of the, well, I like Colossus of the set. Too. Yeah, I love Colossus and Thunderbird, uh, Thunderbolt, Bird. Yeah, I, I definitely think, for me, I think uh, Thunderbird is the nicest one. Yeah. Yeah, plus Junkie's happy getting this from a, a fellow collector. She used to collect a lot for 45 years, and she gave up a lot of her stuff, and I bought a lot of her stuff, and I kept a lot of them. I kept out of 187, I kept like about 120 pieces. Yeah, very happy. Very happy, happy. So, all I can say is, X-Men... Ah. are amazing figures. Are ama um, I love the books. I like the movies too. I, even though they made some lame ones, I like them. I especially like, like the Wolverine. Can't wait for Wolverine 2. I like all the X-Men movies. They're super cool. Uber cool. Uber cool. Yeah, it was really nice to look at these old Toy Biz figures again. I really miss that company. They They were a really good toy company, I find. Yeah, I like the, the Toy Biz figures. I but, know some of them are lame, but I really like them. Well, you know, not... Hey, every toy company makes figures that are kind of a bust, you know? Like, the, they, they can't all be great. No. But, uh... But that's but, it. That's our review on Giant Size X-Men 6-Pack from 1998 Toy Biz. I thank you very much for watching. I thank always my friend, my two buddies here, Joe Nerd and Mr... Mighty Joe Young? No, Joe Nerd... And Mr. The Godfather, Sir Godfather, right Sir Godfather, he is the the bo He is my backbone. <laughs> Joe Nerd is my arms, <laughs> and I'm the rest of the body. Because honestly, with these guys, plastic junkie would not exist. Thank you very much, and also my fans. You, my fans is my body. All here. Look at that. I got this at Walmart for five dollar, five dollar, five dollar, five dollar, five dollar. That's from the movie. Uh, Oh, Bubble Boy. Yeah, it's a funny movie. Anyways, thank you very much. Stay plastic and X-Men out.